buddy in town, a friend of his from the Navy named Bobby. And one night, we had him over to my house for supper. For most of the evening, it was just pleasant enough small talk. I asked Bobby what he did in the Navy, and he said he was a marine biologist in the Office of Naval Research. And so we talked about what that line of work entailed and all of that. But then, after a while, the conversation turned to my blindness, and Jacob started telling his friend about what he'd been researching and how he thought it was so amazing that adult repair stem cells can repair pretty much any part of the human eye. Jonathan must have gone on talking about this for a good six minutes, and although I couldn't see, I wondered if maybe he was boring our guest, because the whole time, his friend Bobby wasn't saying anything. Actually, I was just about to suggest we change the subject, but then Bobby did finally open his mouth, and what he said caught both me and my nephew off guard. Stem cells, huh? He said out loud. That's really interesting. Kind of like what the zebrafish does. Now, of course, neither me nor Jonathan knew what the heck Bobby was talking about, so we asked him. And that's when Bobby explained that there's a type of fish that lives in the oceans of Southeast Asia called the zebrafish. And that it's very well documented that this fish never goes blind because whenever there is damage to their retinas, the zebrafish is able to grow new stem cells in its body. Then it sends these new stem cells right to its eyes where the stem cells repair and replace the damage, which allows the zebrafish to continue to be able to see. Well, when Bobby told all of this, I was shocked. Because while I knew he was a marine biologist, I'd never heard that zebrafish could do this, and it sounded pretty unbelievable. So I asked my nephew to look up the zebrafish on his smartphone and see if all this was true. And to my astonishment, Jonathan reported back <coughs> that it was indeed true. In fact, researchers at Vanderbilt were already studying zebrafish intensely. The Smithsonian had recently published an article asking, could the tiny zebrafish teach us to cure blindness? And it turned out that researchers at Harvard Stem Cell Institute, HSCI, were now spending millions of dollars studying zebrafish and had already claimed that this little fish could hold the key to not just restoring vision, but even fighting human disease too. It's pretty amazing, the fact that a tiny little fish in the ocean can basically just create new healing stem cells on demand and regenerate its vision whenever damage occurs, regardless of old age or how badly their eyes are harmed. When I asked Bobby how the zebrafish did all of this, though, I'm assuming he must have shrugged, because while I couldn't see him, what he said was something along the lines of, if I knew, I'm sure they'd give me a Nobel Prize. But the truth is, I have no idea. It probably just has to do with their diet or something. And that was the end of our conversation about zebrafish, at least for that time. Because the thing is, even though I think Bobby had just been joking about the whole diet thing, it stuck with me. I thought, heck, when we humans eat foods that are rich in vitamins and minerals and other good nutrients, those nutrients do stuff like protect against cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and other bad stuff. So what if there's something out in the ocean that the zebrafish is eating that lets them produce new stem cells and heal their eyes? I know it seemed a little out there, but I mean, what did I have to lose? So I asked my nephew Jonathan to do me a favor and look into some of the foods that zebrafish eat in the wild just in case any of them had anything to do with stem cells at all. I didn't have high hopes. I was mostly just curious. But thank God Jonathan was just as crazy as I am. Because the next morning, before the sun was even all the way up, Jonathan rushed into my room with his tablet in his hand, telling me I needed to come into the kitchen because I wasn't going to believe what he'd just found. You see, it turns out, in the wild, zebrafish eat a pretty unique form of algae, something that's only found in the waters off Southeast Asia. And as Jonathan had uncovered, this algae is almost 100% made up of a nutrient called spirulina, making it one of the most concentrated sources of spirulina in the world. The reason this mattered, Jonathan explained, is because when he started looking into spirulina, he immediately found that in a major study that was conducted by scientists at the University of South Florida, they'd found that when they fed mice a diet that was high in spirulina for 30 days, not only did the mice begin to actually grow new stem cells, but even more incredibly, these new stem cells were the exact type as the ones zebrafish grow whenever they need to repair their eyes. Well, when I heard this, I was dumbstruck. Because even though this was an animal study, we were talking about two different types of animals. One, a fish that lives in the oceans of Southeast Asia. One, a lab mouse, not exactly identical species. Yet 